Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time clicking on my video, hey y'all, hey. On this channel, we do all things budgeting. So if that's the type of content you like, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the Savers family. I would love to have you here. Now guys, in today's video, we are gonna be having a little fun. I am gonna show you how I made my 100 um, envelope challenge box. So if you wanna know how you can make your own for less than $6, Please keep watching. Now guys, I love the cute little boxes and the envelopes that go along with them that folks are selling on Etsy. Um, but with me being on a budget, honestly, I'd rather spend my money on some of you know my budgeting kits because I love my stickers and I like my little spreads that I make in my actual planner. So I thought for some of the challenges that I'm going to be doing, I could possibly be a little more cost effective by trying to make my own. And I actually did just that. And I am going to show you guys how I did it for very little money. Now you're going to need very little supplies and you don't need a laminator. That is correct guys, you do not need an, a laminator for your envelopes. Now I do have a laminator and I do have envelopes, but and I could possibly make the envelopes myself, but honestly, I really don't have the time nor the patience to do it. And I wanna give a hats off to all those small business owners out there who do make the envelopes, guys, you are the real MVPs because for one, it is difficult, it is time consuming, and you have to have a lot of patience. Now, um, I am going to show you the supplies I use for this very simple project. Now, first you're gonna need, um, this is called an index card box. And I actually purchased this from Walmart. I purchased it for $2.59, but I actually uh, saw it online for $2.27. And I'm actually going to um, link the information down in the description box if you're interested in it. But you're going to need one of these. And I like the clear one um, because you can do anything with it. You can get it in black if you want, but I prefer this one. And then the next thing you're going to need is your envelopes or your small envelopes that will fit into here. And I'm gonna actually um, link some envelopes down in the, the description box. Now I purchased these envelopes from Amazon and I got a 180 count for $11.99. Unfortunately, I could not find them on Amazon. They are all out, but I will um, show you a picture of some I found on walmart.com. And if you're interested, you can go there and get them. They have them for, I think the price is on the um, screen as well. The next thing you're going to need to jazz up your box, um, if you have it on hand, is some jewelry, or not jewelry, but some stickers and different things of that nature. Now, I found these jewelry border stickers at the dollar store, and I was actually, um, when I was in the process of completing my office, I have a mirror in my office, and I wanted to bling it up a little bit just to give it a little pizzazz. And so I went to the dollar store and I found these, um, they call them jewel border stickers. And the dollar store has them in different colors. As you can see, they have them in this pearl white, pearl white and silver. They have them in pink. And as you can see, I've used some and they have them in this pretty, pretty blue. So you're gonna need that. Or you can use any stickers that you have on hand, guys. You do not have to use what I am using. And then last but not least, the other thing I use to pizzazz or jazz my envelopes up a little bit is some washi tape. Now you can also use markers, crayons, whatever you have around the house. You can go to the um, craft store to Michaels or something like that and get the construction paper with um, pretty little seams on it and different things of that nature. And what you could do is just cut the paper out to fit in the different areas of the box to jazz the box up as well. So those are just some ideas for you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and jazz up the box itself with some of my um, jewel border that I purchased from the dollar store. And guys, I already have a pink one made, which I'll show you in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is just Go ahead and use the silver and white for this box. 
And um, this is definitely going to be for um, one of the envelope challenges that I will be doing. So give me one moment. All I'm doing is counting out the number of circles that I am going to need for the box. Uh -oh. Let me turn it over this way. And I think I'm going to need about 10. So... It doesn't have to be perfect, guys because all you're doing is making it pretty to put your um your envelopes in now honestly you don't have to even use this for envelopes you can use this for recipe cards that you have you can do um use this box to you know put some keepsakes in it the um choice is really up to you guys that is both sides I typically don't do these sides but if you want to do those you can but I definitely do this top part so I'm going to go ahead and get that real quick guys the box is all put together um, what I'm going to do now is show you that all 100 of the envelopes that I purchased from Amazon will fit in but let me show you real quick now I honestly think this is more than 100 because I had counted them out but then I think I mixed some up with it but this is how they go in Matter of fact, I know this was more than 100. Give me one second. Okay, guys, I actually did have more than 100 envelopes um, counted. I went ahead and took out, it was 14 extra that I had in there. But I just wanted to show you guys what the envelopes look like inside of your card box. And there is going to be enough room once you place your money in there. Just like that. And I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this is what the envelopes look like. They're really cute and small. So what I want to do now real quick, guys, is show you another box that I've already made. And I want to give you an idea of how I did my actual envelope. So this is what I mean when, when I say you do not need um, a laminator. Because first of all, you have your colored envelopes. Or again, you can just use white and decorate the um, um, envelopes any way you want to. Uh, I still need to decorate this box, but this is how I did. I'm doing a, a different challenge, um, but I don't know when I'm gonna start it. But this is how I decorated each of the envelopes for this challenge. Each month has a theme. You have January, February, of course, is pink. March is green, so on and so forth. And basically all I did was just use some stickers some old stickers that I have had um, and then there you go and then for another challenge that I'm doing is this one this is actually going to be a 52 week challenge but I just made this one the same way I just made the one that I showed you guys this I actually use washi tape for I just use different washi tapes to um, decorate the envelopes and all I need to do there's some I still need to decorate but um, I just went through and put washi tape on different ones and of course I still need to go in 
with a marker or a pen or a crayon and write the actual denomination on each envelope. But other than that, all I need to do is just um, put the name of each challenge on each box. But guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you I gave you a way in which you can make your own um, challenge boxes for under a budget. Um, I, I needed to save some money. And trust me, again, I love the ones that are on Etsy. I just don't have the money for it. So I went ahead and made my own. And I hope you guys like them. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment below. And if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join the family. I would love to have you. But with that, guys, I will see you on the next video. God bless. Bye, guys.